Hey, how you doing? Alex here. Thanks for joining me. In today's episode, we are talking about how to email college coaches the best way. I'm going to give you seven tips to maximize your email, to get it open, to get clicks, to maximize your communication with college coaches, to maximize your exposure. I'll explain all of this. I'm also going to show you an example here towards the end, so stay with me of what an email, a good email looks like. I'm going to first talk about the seven tips. So if you're on YouTube um, or on the podcast, rather, you can come over to YouTube, check it out, or you can go to the premierathletes.app. That is my baseball-specific recruiting platform that helps guide and direct you guys through this uh, process. You can check it out there. I have the intro email, the follow-up email, the updated email, the pre-showcase email, the uh, post-showcase email, all that stuff uh, through this process. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Alex Swenson. I'm a former Division I college coach, scout, and recruiter with 11 years experience. And now what I do is help high school baseball athletes and their parents navigate this college recruiting process. So if you get anything from this video, please smash that like button, that thumbs up. And if you're on the podcast, subscribe and you can check out the premier athlete platform down in the description you can check it out uh, there as well so again I still believe that email is the best way to get things rolling to get on radars of college coaches uh, to communicate starting off it starts with email then really the next step is text then eventually a phone call with these college coaches but this gets the ball rolling and again can maximize your communication and your exposure because think about it again not all the college coaches can be everywhere at all the tournaments frankly travel ball and all these tournaments college coaches miss 90 to 95 percent of all the games okay actually travel ball and tournaments are not the best way to get exposure okay this is for another video you guys have probably heard me talk about this before but email can definitely help with this process because it gets directly in front of them because again we're all checking our email so let's talk about these seven tips now timing of when you send your email so you can think about this it's it's when you are ready to when you feel you are ready to athletically academically all of those things so some of us might be early freshman year some of us might be sophomore year i would recommend probably still sophomore year junior year yes uh that's a good timing as well too depending on where you're at as well so you could fall all in into these windows as we go now with a rules standpoint, you can send email to these college coaches, but if you are a freshman or sophomore before August 1, they're not going to be able to reply to you, but they're going to be able to uh, read your email. They're going to be able to look at your video, okay? So it's good to get on radars sooner than later because one thing that we're fighting in this recruiting process is time and roster spots availability, right? So the, the sooner, the better. Now, that said, if you need still more time to develop, hold off a little bit. And when you're ready to get exposed, go on and send these emails here, okay? So that's the timing of your email. Then, subject line. This is arguably the most important thing of your email because the whole pur purpose of sending your email is to get it open for college coaches to read or skim, okay? A lot of them will skim this depending on how we set up the email. I'm going to talk about that. It should be very skimmable. It should be easy to read. I'm going to talk about that here in a second, okay? But the subject line is very, very important, all right? And we want to make sure we are uh, showcasing in our email. Do not put your name. Put your best metrics, uh, your stats, or your academics and or both. Make sure it's not crazy long. I'm gonna show an example here. Do not put your name. You're gonna have your name in the email. You're gonna introduce yourself in the email, okay? Do not put your name, because if I just put, uh, if I email a college coach uh, at Vanderbilt and my name is John Smith, and I put John Smith, 2024, it's like, wh why would somebody wanna open up that email, right? The, the whole purpose of them is to try to get them to open up the email because hey newsflash not all these college coaches open up email they're going to open it up an email if it interests them okay so we want to put in a subject line something that it stands out for what they're looking for okay hence we should be sending emails to schools and coaches that could be a good fit for us athletically okay so subject line very very important short introduction paragraph of who you are and why you're interested one sentence all right of why you're interested in the program so paragraph three to four sentences short intro we're going to see that here in an example uh example of that here in a minute but it is short and sweet one paragraph all right your intro that is it okay these college coaches do not want 
five paragraphs in your life story. They, they just don't want that. They want to see if this could be a athlete that they might be interested or want to pursue. Okay, short intro. All right, and then sending it to college coaches. So on the Premier Athletes Platform app, I have all the college baseball coaches there as well. Um, and you can contact with them with one click. It pulls you over to your personal email. But if, you, if you're not sure who to send it to, just send it to the head coach, but send it to all the coaches and address the head coach. The majority of the time, specifically for Division I, the recruiting coordinator is really handling the recruiting, and the head coach kind of handles the on-campus recruiting, kind of uh, closes the plan, gives the offers, et cetera, depends on the school, but does a lot of that on campus. And there, the head coach does most of actually the – on campus management and stuff but if you're not sure just email all the coaches and address the head coach okay next thing include best metrics stats and academics bullet point we're going to see this here so any any good metrics that you want to share bullet point that any statistics bullet point that academics bullet point that bullet point is easy to read all right it's very skimmable for them to read as well also we want to include your highlight video very important because you could say all these things but if they're not visually seeing something it doesn't confirm what you are saying okay they need to visually see and this can create dialogue now include your schedule so they know where you're going to be especially if you're early on in this process and you're ready to start the recruiting process send your schedule so they know where you where you're going to be playing especially if they can't email you back they can still come watch you okay um, and then include your high school and or travel ball coach contact information if they want to contact them because they'll eventually do that honestly to kind of vet you and to talk to a coach that's been around you a lot all right with that said let's take a look at an example of an email here look at this this is, this is short and sweet very easy to read not much going on subject line here okay this is just an example the subject line example 6960 boom stands out all right man this guy can run a little bit 86 miles an hour good arm velocity 3.9 gpa outstanding 2025 great shortstop right-handed pitcher parentheses video saying hey i have video to confirm all of this okay i would click on this but i don't want to see this this looks promising as a college coach i would want to see this boom right away we have the coach last name and you could put all the coaches there especially addressing make sure you put the coach's name and make sure it's correct all right when you send out your email my name is let's just alex swinton and i go to high school in city and state i'm a six one i'm not six one <laughs> uh 186 uh, again this is just an example middle infielder right-handed pitcher sophomore junior wherever you are and throw 86 miles per hour with command i hit three home runs during this year's high school season and was awarded the player of the year award so just quick little high highlights during the summer and fall i play for the team who's coached by the coach and is sell an email sell an email is that all right i'm interested in your program because of your success or your coaching style or i would be a good fit whatever a good reason is but it's short and sweet and then we get into the athletic metrics uh here so athletic metrics and stats so top fastball and if you're a pitcher you can go fastball you can go you can show your curveball you can hey your spin rate and um your vertical tilt and all of that stuff if you have that information you can it, it's not a must but it can be helpful uh, or if you're a position exit velocity your 60 yard dash for your catcher pop time again i'm just showing this as an example and then some stats all right i hit 435 with six doubles and two home runs with a 668 on base percentage this season or if you're a pitcher, I pitched 28 innings, 33 strikeouts, 9 walks, 67 strike percentage, and 2.35 GP, uh, ERA. So that is just a quick little highlight. A academically, you can show your metrics, any athletic or academic accolades, short and sweet, okay? And then I have attached my schedule along with my video for you. I look forward to staying in contact with you. Now, if you're a little bit older, like you're past that August 1, you can ask uh, if you have any feedback for me i would love to hear from you but if you're not they can't email you back and talk specifically about your recruiting but this is your email intro this is how to best email college coaches if you have any questions please comment down below and we will go from there i'll see you in the next video take care